Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. Going on a little camping trip. Would you like to go? Well, let's go then. Well, it is warm. Very warm outside. Really hot in here. I'm gonna get some AC going. It is 78 degrees outside. I'm guessing somewhere around 150 in here. Very warm. But uh yeah, got a little little something planned today. I have a new spot to go to. It's also a campground. If you guys have ever heard me speak of campgrounds they're normally not my favorite but I'm trying to branch out a little you know check out some new things I've thought about this one before but it's a little expensive in my opinion for a night of camping $37 but I don't know that, I mean, maybe where you're at that's normal maybe that's cheap for where you live I know everywhere varies but for around here there are definitely spots you can camp for less. But I'm gonna give it a shot. It's a super nice day out. It's not supposed to rain. My uh, camping shoes are dry. If you caught last week's video, that was a muddy mess. It was a fun time, but it was a muddy mess. It's rained in the last 48 hours, but now that May has finally figured out its place, it's warm now, and the humidity's coming in, so mud dries up pretty quick. So it should be a pretty dry, nice evening. I hope. Never been to this place, so I don't really know what to expect. I'm hoping there's some shade, because I did not bring anything for that. But I'm pretty sure it's a state park. I'm gonna look to be sure in a minute. I'm gonna put up my GPS. So I'm guessing it should be a pretty pretty nice area. That's cool. Man, it just I guess you need two lanes of road to drive a car. But yeah, hoping it's a pretty nice place. Something to look at, maybe some water somewhere. Really don't have a clue. Uh, the internet doesn't have really much information on the place. I think the first time I looked, I think it was like just shy of an hour from me. But I don't need to stop at a grocery store. Um, I was out the other day and I knew what I was getting. Okay. You gotta give me a second. I'm. I, hmm. If I make it there, that's twice I've almost been hit. And how long have I been talking? So, maybe I'll turn the camera around and just get the whole ride because I feel like now I'm definitely getting smashed into. But yeah, no grocery store. I guess what I was talking about. Went out the other day, knew what I was making, grabbed all that. I had a couple buns left at the house to finish up that I'm going to use up. I think they're going to. I think this is going to turn out to be a pretty good dinner. I uh, get the can and get set up. I'll kind of explain better to you what I'm making. So gas quarterish tank. Yeah, that's going to get me from here to about that turn in this thing. So I definitely need to get a little gasoline. So yeah, gasoline, camp. Stay tuned. I almost forgot actually, I did find a uh, new beverage to try. Which, I mean, if you drink any energy drinks, there's a million of them out there. And most of them don't sound very good. But I did see this, I thought I'd give it a shot. Rain Orange Dreamsicle. Used to like those. I don't know. Maybe it'll be alright. Huh. Let's see what it tastes like. I really need to stop drinking these things. I know they're terrible for you. But it sounded tasty. I'll give it a shot. Actually, that does pretty well taste like a 
creamsicle or dreamsicle or orange popsicle cream thing. Yeah, that's not as smooth as a dreamsicle, obviously, because it's an energy drink. So it's got a little bite to it, but that's uh, it's not bad. I'll probably have another one of those. Okay, now, gas station. signs for boat rentals I think so I'm thinking if there's like a lake we should probably go check that out uh, we have site 45 where we are 10 there's be quite a few here anyways I'm hoping that our site is not right on top of each other because if you see they're like pretty close together close together for my liking so this is why I normally don't go for campgrounds I've just been lucky the couple times I've went and not been right on top of people so I don't think we're in the right spot because I'm back at the beginning and I didn't see a 45 I don't know if there's like a whole other section of campground here I'm just gonna keep on going down the road and look I did find the boat rental place. Our dock going right out onto the water. That's pretty nice looking. Hmm. Bad news is there's no more campground, so it would appear as though I have no idea where I'm at. Okay, so I didn't see a 45. I didn't seem like there was that many spots in that campground, but I'm about to go back and look. I don't know. Was a little busy uh, talking nonsense, so maybe I missed it, but. I don't, think that's, I don't think I'm in the right place. Definitely said North Bend Park, and I turned into where the campground was. So I don't know what I did wrong. Alright, did another loop. 28 spots. Okay, I have figured it out. I had to call her and figure out where to go, but I have found it. Um, burned up a lot of daylight I didn't have. But this campground is a lot better than the other campground. Um, this one is way more secluded. There's a pond right here, which we'll check out. There's a river. Already digging that. Oh, 44. We're almost here. 45. That is us. Kind of level. I shouldn't have to level this thing at all, actually. Kind of digging that. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with here. Okay, well, there's the post, if you can see those. And there's that site. That's 46. I'm really hoping nobody gets 46. Because that is too close for me. At least these have uh, cooking grates. That's kind of nice. I brought mine in case I need it. Some kind of chicken down there screaming Good park nice calm stream it's kind of muddy from all the rain we've got but and it is pretty nice and quiet down in here it's a wednesday so i don't figure there's going to be a ton of people here i'm hoping kind of why i like to camp more like middle of the week at these kind of places but yeah not too shabby got some trash cans over there Oh wow, that one's that one's awfully close too. But all right, so I burned up way too much time. Um, ended up being an hour and like twenty minutes from the house. Yeah, and then wandering around for however long. So I got to get a fire going because I'd really rather not uh, try to do this in the dark.
I don't think those two like each other. I don't know what's happening. Way too much wood in here. Oh, too heavy. I got a feeling those uh, screaming birds are going to kind of affect my audio a little bit. Not a fan of that. I don't know what's got them so worked up, but they are not having a good time. Yeah, I'm going to say that's a uh, fire. It's really hot. Get some coals going. All right. So I need to start trapping some stuff here. Didn't get a bowl. Mix these in. So I'm just going to make a foil plate. Yes. Another thing I wanted to do was get some pork because I like mine like half pork, half beef. Didn't do that. So they're gonna be all beef meatballs, which I'm sure will be fine, maybe. Didn't get out paper towels. All right, one thing I forgot to do that I better do real quick is toast my buns because that's gonna be a mess. I don't know if he's going to be any good or not. But they were at the house. So I thought, why not bring them and give them a shot? Alright, back to meatballs. I'm not sure how hot that fire is. I better check those buns. are probably burnt by now. Mm -hmm. Now those turned out perfect. That might be enough on me. A little garlic. An egg. Yes. And already parsley in this actually. No, there's not. Might as well go a little Dano's. Kick it up a touch. Should be pretty tasty. Alright. onions up a little smaller. Right, so I'm gonna go with some butter and oil maybe. Uh, pre that's probably too much oil. Oil and butter my pan that way I can make my meatballs and just throw them in. Not very good at making meatballs because I always make them way too big. Yeah that's I don't know, I feel like golf ball's too big. Ping pong ball, maybe? I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying at this point. There's a small creature over there screaming for some reason. That's just what you do here. You just come here and scream, I guess. Like the birds do. Feeling they're gonna fall apart. I hope not. All right. Let's see if we can't burn these meatballs. That's like every time I get the fire way too hot and almost burn everything. Try me another beer I haven't had in a while.
Y'all know I've had fosters, but it's been a pretty fair amount of years. How much is in this? That's gotta be like a 30 ounce can, right? Oh, 25.4. Ooh. A stout tab. That's not too shabby. It's been so long since I've had it, I really can't remember what it tasted like, but it's not bad at all. An Australian lager. I like that can size way better. 12 ounces gone in no time. Just need to get like a bunch of these. I can usually drink like Coors or Keystone. Usually Keystone. Pretty similar, I think. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna try to finish off these meatballs without completely wrecking dinner. Maybe one or two falling apart. Drain a little. I don't like this. It's gonna run all dump. That's that's enough. I really wanted to do homemade sauce, but I know myself, and I know that I was going to be late with this, so I didn't want to waste a ton of time. Plus, if you ever had this, it's actually not that bad. It's one of the better, like, store-bought jar sauces. You know, it's better than, like, ragu or prego, anyways, right? Get that back again. I'm gonna go back into the sauce too with the little, little extra. Let's. I want to do that. A little extra on the Italian. I don't really think they need to be swimming in the sauce necessarily. I just like a little sauce on mine. It definitely smells pretty solid. I don't know what it's gonna taste like, but. Sure, it'll be edible, probably. And we might as well throw a little store-bought, basically garbage. Done enough for me. Want to try it alone? Not really sure what I was thinking. I thought they would like shrink. Maybe I don't know why I thought that. The meatballs don't really shrink. So I'm only fitting like two on a sandwich. And maybe I can force on three. That's hot. That's, that's a really hot meatball. Just a little provolone. These are plastic. Well, normally I'd like to put it in the oven or broiler or something, but eh, that'll work. I mean, not terrible. This is going to be a disaster. That is not too bad. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm all right with that. I like mine to have a little bit of a kick. They had this last week, didn't they? The chili. I don't know. I couldn't think of what would go with, like, meatballs. But I guess fire-roasted habanero and garlic should be all right. Find out. Mm hmm. I don't know if it's a fire roasted or what, but if this goes good with like tomato uh, recipes, not too bad. It's like with a meatball sandwich, you don't want something that's like crazy spicy, you just want some flavor and kick. 
How about a Foster's would go good with it? Yep, that was right. That's a good combo. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is not the best meatball I've ever had in my life. For sure. But it's not the worst. It's way better than like buying those little frozen store-bought meatballs. I picked one terrible time to forget paper towels. Gonna have my second one. I'm not gonna make you guys watch that because that had to be terrible to see. But not bad, I will say. Got some tent campers. Try not to disturb them. So, you have to have a fishing license to fish here, apparently. And you cannot use live minnows. I heard of such a thing. Dim's rules. I don't know exactly what stream that is. I don't have service to look it up, but maybe in the morning when I get back into some service, I'll look it up and let you guys know. Over there, I well, can't really see it now, but it's a playground. Don't know what that building is. I don't know what that building back there is that you probably can't even see. There's a bridge right there that connects all this. But I've already had a soda or two. I'm not gonna do any driving. But in the morning, we will definitely check that out. See what all is over there. I assume that there's a restroom somewhere, probably. Seems like most legit campgrounds have those. Yeah, not too bad. My only complaint so far is these sites are so close together. I'm sure, you know, more like summertime. This is only May the, I don't know what today is, May 9th, 30th, I don't know. It's sometime in May, I'm pretty sure of. Not long ago I heard people talking about Cinco de Mayo. But yeah, I'm sure like prime summer weekends, it's probably pretty hopping around here. Well, that's uh, about as much of a tour as I can give you within walking distance. But now the dinner's done. I think I'm going to stoke that fire up. And do a little relaxing because it's still really warm out. I'm sure as you guys noticed. I was wearing shorts because I knew it wasn't going to get all that cold. Right now, it is still 72. That's a that's a solid temperature I don't even know what the low is going to be but I'll let you know right in the morning when I get back to service so yeah I'm going to hang out by this fire and see what happens There's a really big raccoon right here. I'm trying to get him on camera. Oh, he ran off. I'm gonna try to sneak up on him. He's probably gonna bite me. Thank uh you. -huh. Uh -huh. 
That is a lot of geese. But I lost a raking. I don't know where he went. Hopefully you guys could see that. He was a good one. Point down over there somewhere. Let's see him got the tree. I don't know. Maybe we'll come back out later. Hmm. Well, it would appear that something got into the trash. Well, I got the uh, critter mess cleaned up now. My stuff's packed. Those things are still screaming. I mean, they've hardly stopped. But, there you go see what's over in that region check out a little bit more of this place they do have a telephone and a shower room it's actually pretty nice back in here it's just like a cove I guess I mean these metal sites probably aren't as desirable but over here camp right along the creek the cabin's pretty big actually pavilion an old bell like the bridge kind of smashed rail trail here that you can walk on I mean there's a lot of trails actually so I mean if you're into hiking and the nets aren't looking up to date but you could definitely play some basketball if you'd like You got a new coffee to try out, actually. Java Monster Irish Blend. 
don't believe I've ever had one. Cut my fingernails a little too short. probably 20 minutes or so at the most off of Route 50 so it's an easy place to get to there's definitely plenty of tent camping and then there's also plenty of uh, water and power hookups for campers plenty of hiking trails the first campground I went to, which was the wrong one, they actually had washing machines and dryers for laundry. So that's pretty nice. This one has a lodge. The first campground I went to was little close kind of tight not I mean these were too don't get me wrong like I said in like the summer or busy weekends I'm sure there's probably way too many people here wasn't bad today but this one was definitely better than the first one also not sure why the geese were so worked up, but they uh, screamed most of the time and fought a lot of the time. At least I guess that's what they're doing. I don't know. I don't know if that's like what a geese do. Maybe that's a mating ritual. I'm not sure, but they looked angry. Definitely forgot to put my trash in the trash can last night but I guess you'll have that not sure why I'm still just rambling nonsense let's go ahead and close this one out here so yeah I thought the uh, meatballs turned out pretty decent so just kind of throwing them together I definitely like them better when they're mixed with pork, but I forgot. I don't know how I forgot, because that's how I've always made them, but a couple did fall apart, as you noticed. I don't know if I should have thrown another egg in there or not. I mean, my general like rule of thumb is one egg per pound. I think that was one pound. So, I don't know. More breadcrumbs. But, either way, definitely turned out pretty tasty so I'm not exactly sure what kind of shenanigans I'm going to get into next week but but definitely tune in next week we'll get into some kind of nonsense I definitely would like to get back into some more primitive camping the campgrounds are nice they have their perks it's nice to know that you have trash and restrooms available but I'm ready to 
get back out there and get out in the middle of nowhere. So next week I'm definitely going to go somewhere a lot more secluded. <clears throat> recipe to make I've definitely been on a beef kick recently for some reason I think uh, the last few videos have all been beef related it's definitely not that I prefer beef over chicken or pork or anything I mean just have it more often yeah that's pretty much it for now I'm just gonna finish off my Irish blend and back to the house and see if I can edit this thing. I feel like it's kind of all over the place, especially with going to the wrong campground first. So yeah, tune in next week. But for now, thanks for watching.